Hey guys, I'm uh, gonna be making a lip for my S10. Um, what I got here is paper edging. It was nine bucks at Home Depot. Um, I have a hacksaw, which you need to cut out these things, the little tabs in the middle, but you basically need to get it to actually turn. I can't really do it with one hand, or well, maybe I can. Um, you can kind of see it'll it'll turn to fit the curve of the bumper. That's what you need. So uh, this is basically what it's gonna look like. <clears throat> I'm gonna go under here, oh, kind of like that, all around. Uh, it looks a lot nicer than the uh, the garage door sealer mod that I see all over the place. This one just looks more flush and everything. And it's plastic so you can paint it. I think the other one's actually rubber. So you are, you couldn't paint it. Um, I'm trying to take the balance off right now. Uh, and I might have to go find some hardware to actually do this. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it just yet. This is my little uh, build video. So, <clears throat> I took the valance off, just to get an idea. Uh, it's upside down right now on the ground. Um, so it's gonna, you know, go flush like this, and you know, have to figure out where to cut it so I can bend it. I'll probably just cut all the tabs off. Actually, what I saw someone else do is just cut all the tabs off all along the whole thing. Like right, right where the hole is. Like maybe just on the other side of the hole, I'll cut them all off. And there's still room to put a small screw through. And then I just have to bend it along the bumper and screw it all in. I hope it's gonna be long enough. Uh, it might, I'm honestly not sure if it's gonna be long enough or not. Oh boy. I don't know, I guess the first step is just to cut those all off and then see what we got. Okay, so I, I cut off all these tabs. I actually used one of these instead because it made the job so much easier. Um, so here's what's left over. Just garbage. So now with this, now this is a lot more flexible than it was before. Before you couldn't bend it at all. So now it's a, it should be a heck of a lot easier to bend to the shape of the thing. Okay, another quick thing I had to do was just cut the top three um, twice as short. I didn't do a very good job, but I had to do these by hand. Um, because the machine wasn't going to get close enough. The reason I had to do these shorter was because this is a much sharper curve and I couldn't turn it as sharp. I can force it now, you know, it's a lot easier. Um, but I'm really hoping that it's gonna work out with the screws because you know, I can't do this with two hands, but to get it to turn that sharp <clears throat> right here, <clears throat> oh, it's very, very hard. So we're gonna do the best we can. I'm gonna start by getting the drill and drilling little holes in all of these. I'm not using these big holes. I'm going to drill smaller holes because it goes right about here. Oh, one second. Right about here. I don't know if you can see it because of the shadows and everything. But the holes hang over the edge of the bumper. So I have to drill new holes. Which isn't hard. I just have to find out what screws to use for these. Uh, Okay, so I'm uh, starting the process of screwing these all together. Um, and it's not too bad so far. I just can't figure out how to get rid of this gap in here. I don't know if you can, if you can see it. There's a gap. Yeah, there you go. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> this is what it looks like from the back. It's just going on. I'm drilling down. I drill like two or three at a time, and I then I put the screws in. Um, 
it's just bugging me the gap I don't know if you'll be able to see it when it's on the truck or not <clears throat> on the other thing is I might have to do this we do this corner right here because it's not perfectly flush I suppose it's not that big of a deal but I don't know those little things bother me but overall I mean it's coming out pretty good I think it's going to look great once it's on the truck I'm just going to keep working my way around Okay, so I uh, finished installing the lip and put the valance back on, and it turned out pretty well. Um, it's not perfect, little, you know, off around the edges, but hey, for nine bucks, can't really beat it. And if I don't like it, I can just take it off. The lighting's really bad, I'm sorry, the shadows are like, I don't know if you can even see it. Um, yeah, man, turned out turned out really good. So for nine bucks, it, you know, a cheap little mod can't beat it. Oh, and this stuff is the best ever.